Welcome back out to the garage. Um, it's been a while since I've been out here. Um, I was busy and then I was sick and now the sick is kind of like settled in my lungs and uh, bronchitis or something and the doctor and more importantly my wife has said no plasma smoke inhalation for me. So I won't be cutting anything today but I thought I'd come out and do a little bit of computer work to um, maybe remove that intimidation factor. Um, you got a CNC plasma so to take full advantage of that you kind of need to be able to draw something on a computer to, or at least take a computer drawing and, and cut it so let's let's see if we can't uh, download we'll start with downloading a an image and then converting that to something that could cut out um, with your plasma cutter so the CNC in this case arc droid for me um, anyway let's get on the computer and see what we think <laughs> Okay, so here we go. First thing we're going to want to do is open up Inkscape. I, I'm not going to go through installing it. I'm going to trust you can do that, but download and install Inkscape if you don't have it. It's a free software, and I'll put a link in the description for it. I always have a link in the description for it. Okay, the first thing I like to do is go in and change the document properties. It starts with A4 format. I'm going to make a US letter which automatically changes that to inches and display units I'm going to make those inches because that's how I think about things so I said we use a downloaded graphic and that's what we're going to do but I'm not going to actually search and download one here I've already done that so I'm going to import and I'm going to import this crow drawing so I had a request for a crow which would make what made me think of that um, for search parameters I think I use crow or raven and free and clip art and this guy was one of the ones that came up and I just downloaded it so um, so yeah that's it it's got a transparent background and it's black and white or black silhouette I might have used silhouette as part of the search parameters so there's our drawing. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is make it the size that I want it to be. What I'm going to cut out, I think I want to make about 10 inches tall. So I'll lock the, the uh, aspect ratio and then change the height to 10 inches. And I'm going to zoom out so we still fit on the screen. So there's our um, image imported into Inkscape. But this is a graphic and you can't cut out a graphic. You need a path. So we use one of the built-in tools here. So if I click Path, Trace Bitmap. So here's your Trace Bitmap tool. And you can adjust these settings. Um, I have it set for 0.45 usually, but you can change what it's gonna do. This drawing is pretty simple. It's going to have no problem at all. Um, determining that. So I'm going to hit apply. So it created a path and it's sitting directly on top of our image right now. So I'm going to move the path aside, highlight the image and delete the image because we don't need it anymore. And now we've got a path that we you could actually cut this path. Uh, it doesn't seem obvious looking at it because of the stroke and fill settings. So let's look at that. So right now it's that got the fill turned on. First thing I'm going to do is turn on the stroke and I'm going to set the stroke to roughly the same size as the curve of the plasma cutter. And then I'm going to turn the fill off so we can see what we're talking about here. So that's what we'll cut. And like I said, you're ready to cut. But there's some things we need to look at first. So I'm going to go back to Document Properties. And I'm going to say Resize to Content. That way, the zero position, when you import it into the ArcDroid, this will be the zero position of the lower left corner. It makes it easier to understand how you're going to lay it out on your machine. So this, this path is cuttable. But if we look at the node tool, so click the node tool, you can see all the nodes. Some areas are pretty complicated. 
way more no nodes than you need for the drawing. Um, they have a built-in tool, so you can go up here and click Path and Simplify. But I will say, watch the legs. Um, or watch the whole drawing. If I hit Simplify, boom, it takes a bunch of nodes out. And it still looks like a bird, but it doesn't look very natural. The legs kind of curved now. Um, some, some drawings that helps, but um, I mean, so that curve was way inaccurate. But there, there's some things we can still do. So if we go back to the node tool and zoom in, and I'll scroll down a little bit, see all these nodes here, that's kind of complicated. Um, we can simplify that. We don't even need all that detail. Let's do something like that. And delete. And I think that's fine. And if we, on the back side of this tail here, there's a whole bunch of nodes that aren't really doing anything. Now this whole drawing is pretty simple. It probably aren't going to run into an issue. But these are good things to think about because the Arctroid has very limited resources as far as drawing size so it can it can be easy to get a complicated drawing that you can't load into the arc droid but this one this one will load I'm almost positive so there you go that's our drawing and all we have to do now is import it into the arc droid so best way to do that is first of all we save it as a SVG which is the Inkscape format so let's save And I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And we'll save it as Crow SVG. And then the very next step to be able to import this into your Arc Droid is save as DXF. It's already highlighted. Save. There you go. You can take that DXF file, import it in your Arc Droid, and cut out a crow. Um, it's as simple as that. Well, hopefully that was simple enough to follow, and hopefully it'll remove the intimidation factor, and you'll actually give it a try. Inkscape's free to download. Um, nothing in here is difficult. If you got Windows, Linux, Mac, whatever you got, you can download Inkscape. You can download a clip art file, and uh, they're free. And and, you, and actually, you don't even have to use a free one. If it's something for your own personal use, it's, uh, you're not gonna sell it, you're not gonna get in trouble. Anyway, download a drawing, use Inkscape to uh, generate a, a, a XDF so that you can import it directly into your uh, ArcDroid. Or if you have, um, if you have SheetCam and if you wanna use SheetCam, you can do that as well. Um, anyway, hopefully we remove the intimidation factor and you'll actually give it a try download and try it I mean what's it gonna hurt um, if you don't want to do that um, I do have drawings on my store website uh, I recently added the uh, whale keychain drawing but um, you know I appreciate you buying those but uh, give it a try it's not hard uh, if I can do it anybody can do it um, anyway thanks for watching